Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel. This is my boyfriend, Ryan. And this is my new juicer, my new baby. I'm so excited. I got it on Black Friday and I've been hesitating buying it for so freaking long. This is the Nama J2 juicer. It was actually out of stock for a while. You had to pre-order it, but right when Black Friday started, I think they had them in stock. So I snagged one super quick. I haven't heard about or heard the end of this in so long. So I know. I this, got it. Yes, I've been showing him like all the videos on it. So basically what's cool about this juicer is that you can put all of your fruits and vegetables in here and then you can walk away, let it do its thing, and then open this bad boy up and the juice falls right out. So it's very efficient, saves you a lot of time when you're juicing, and just in general, you'll probably want to juice more because it's easier to use. Oh, man. Yeah. Also, this is not an ad, <laughs> not sponsored. I'm just so excited about this. Um, but yeah, normal juicers, like they have a spout that's like about this big. So you have to cut up your fruits and vegetables very small and feed it through while you're juicing. But as you can see, this chamber is pretty big. How do you open it? There we go. It's pretty big. So you can just stuff everything in there, pack it in real tight, and it just does what it does so i'm really excited to use it and ryan came up with a challenge so you can explain it yeah so i wanted to do a challenge about who can make better juice we're new to hgb and we're gonna pick out a few items we want to juice and make our own juice out of mm -hmm. um fruits think, or vegetables we're gonna keep it a secret until we get back so that yeah we can, we're gonna try i mean we're yeah. going in the same car but yeah i'll hide mine okay but yeah it'll be a surprise and then we'll do a taste test and see who wins all right Let's do this. We just got to HEB. We're gonna go grab vegetables and fruits. We're gonna do a juice each and see which one's the best. And fruit or vegetable? Fruit and vegetables. You can do fruit and vegetables. Just try to make one juice, not just like pick one object that tastes good juiced. juiced. Yeah, you have to like, you have to mix in like fruits and vegetables. Like, like whatever a you finished think. product, yeah. Yes, okay. what I, whatever you think is gonna taste good. So you'll do one juice of all your mixed vegetables and fruits and I'm gonna do one juice. Mm. Let's see who wins. Meet you at the restroom. <laughs> Under ten dollars, and this is gonna give us like two juices. That's pretty good, right? I started prepping my stuff already. We're gonna present our ingredients, and then I feel like you should go first since you have like less. Less of stuff. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't buy much. I didn't know how much I needed to buy to stack the juice. Yeah, next time we'll definitely make a lot more rolls because I saw some strawberries that were already cut up. Why does that matter? I don't know. I feel like you just, I feel like that's just not. Well, I'll give you the winning combo now. Okay, let's see. So we have strawberry pineapple. That is cheating. How is this cheating? Because. What, way, what are you doing? You have an apple and whatever that is. Whatever. One mango. Okay. Are you sure you're not making a smoothie over here? It's good juice, right? One jalapeno. Oh, what? Ginger. Oh? Ryan, can you juice a jalapeno? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> We're gonna find out. <laughs> Wait! Why? What if you make my freaking juicer all spicy and shit? Well, I'm gonna put a small peanut. I got some apples. I think these are Fuji. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of ginger, some cucumbers, and... Some kale. I, think so. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I should go first. I'm a little worried about your jalapeno making my mine spicy. Mm -hmm. So okay, I'm gonna go first, and we are really gonna test this baby out and see if I can just put pretty much like a whole fruit in there. I didn't really take out the seeds of the apple. The only one that I did kind of cut up really well is the ginger, and the lemon, just because I don't really want the lemon to make my juice bitter. So let's open this up and get to juicing. Hold up, never mind. Okay, so they have this book of juices, which would have been cool to use. They also have this graphic right here where it says kind of like the layering guide. You're supposed to put leaves at the bottom, soft fruits, medium fruits, and hard fruits at the top. So I'm gonna take these apples out and go in with my kale. And honestly, I don't know how much of what I should be putting, so this is really just gonna be a test. Kale first. We'll do the lemon next. We're gonna do some cucumber. And to really test the juicer, I'm gonna do apples with the seeds in them. I feel like that's a lot. It won't even close probably. Okay. And we'll take out some apples. Last but not least, I forgot the ginger, so 
putting that in now. Here we go. Oh. Is it plugged in? <laughs> we had a little technical difficulties. Basically, these two have to click together or lock together, and then you have to click these two into the base and like hear the click. And only then, when you turn it on, it'll start. So, we got it now, and it's time. <laughs> okay, that literally took maybe 10 seconds. That, that was, was like the most amazing thing. <laughs> okay, it was really fast, and there's like nothing in there pretty much. All of the the remnants are in this and they feel pretty dry. I mean, like it's moist, but moist. definitely took out all the juice. So all of that fruit made this much juice. I have like no juice. Yeah, you're gonna have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Should we wait till the end to try the juices? Let's do mine, I need to cut this I, stuff up. Like I can't taste test it and add more stuff, right? That's what <laughs> okay. your ingredients, right? Okay, okay. While Ryan's preparing his fruits and veggies, I'm gonna try to clean this thing. So let's see how easy it is to clean. I think I have to unclick it and then unlock these two. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay. clean and water down for me. Um, <laughs> it wasn't actually bad to clean it all. Interesting tactic on your part, I guess. <laughs> Some people add more water to their juices to like stretch them and since you don't have that many ingredients, I don't think it would be bad, you know? But yeah, it wasn't that hard to clean, but I didn't really have to clean this since it's just gonna feed into there. Okay, good luck. So we got strawberry, pineapple, and then we'll go jalapeno, ginger, or ginger probably the hardest, jalapeno, and then we do mango with the skin on because I don't really know how to eat a mango to be honest. <laughs> and then ginger. That's a good amount. Should we do heads or tails? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Wait, no, just get your phone. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Flip a coin. Wait, what? Oh, wait. <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, heads. Right. And I go first. Flip a coin. It's heads. Okay, I go first. All right, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Pretty good. <laughs> Mine's <Dang> so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. I think it's apple. I mean. It's apple, but like, it's really, really good. <gasps> Yay, okay. All right. Time for yours. Okay, cheers. <laughs> oh my god, it's spicy. <laughs> <Holy shit. laughs> wow. I told you the jalapeno was gonna. It's spicy than normal jalapeno. It's kind of like a nice kick because it I was, was like, like hungover. Yeah, yeah. This actually would feel good, kind of. Yeah, but I think I win. I don't know. Maybe it's like a Bloody Mary almost. Yeah. Like a fruity Bloody Mary. It's like not bad, but it's very If you put like vodka spicy. in this, you would be like... Yeah. You'd be good. You'd be good. I guess. Okay, that second one... Oh. It's so like the after. after. Yeah. yeah. After <laughs> you. Okay. <clears throat> well, I won this challenge. The pro juicer in the house, you know. Oh yeah, second time never doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Got the juicer all cleaned up and just wanted to kind of go over some benefits of juicing and just kind of why I bought this juicer and why I'm so excited about it. First of all, it came beautifully packaged and 
it's just so aesthetic itself it also comes in black but i wanted to keep the white appliances going as you can tell behind me the nama j2 juicer is great for batch juicing and it's also hands-free as you saw we could just walk away and the hopper is just so big that you can feed everything in at once and you don't have to feed it like you know here goes the cucumber okay let it juice here goes the apple okay let it juice you can just do it all at once the best part about this juicer is that it takes less prep i don't have to peel and you know cut down all the veggies and fruits as you saw i pretty much put in a whole apple i really just cut it in half but i didn't take out any of the seeds or peel it really when i've used juicers in the past prepping has been the most time consuming part so the fact that i can pretty much throw like a whole cucumber in here is insane to me they made this juicer so that people could actually get the nutrients that they needed without going through all the prep and all the cleaning i mean cleaning this thing was super freaking easy not only can you make juices in this thing you can make nut milks you can make sorbets nice cream and it came with a smoothie strainer i'm not sure how to use that just yet but i'm guessing it can make smoothies too now let's talk about the price this juicer costs 550 dollars i personally got it on sale on black friday so i think i got it $50 off, so I think the total was around like 510 or I don't know with tax and everything. But if you're one of those people that buys juices out of the grocery store or juice bars, I think that you'll really find it worth it to get this juicer because not only is it very easy to use, very easy to clean, but what I got was under $10 and I actually made a lot more juice after I juiced the first round. Um, and I swear that's gonna like last me a week. And I think that was like $8. Everything Ryan got was like $5 and it made one juice. So I guess it really depends on what fruits and veggies you're getting. I definitely recommend getting some leafy goods because I feel like the kale really juiced down and gave me a lot of liquid and it actually tasted pretty good. And if anything happens to this juicer, if it breaks or anything, it does have a 15 year warranty. Lastly, I wanna talk about the benefits of juicing. I mean, there are incredible benefits and you can go on Google and search it yourself just to give you a little sneak peek of what juicing can really do for you. So the apple I put in my juice supports hydration, so does the cucumber, and it also boosts immunity, boosts energy, relieves constipation, promotes hair growth. The ginger reduces inflammation, soothes digestive issues, and is a pain reliever. The kale supports energy production, strong bones and teeth, and visual health. So all of that just like packed into one juice. I cannot wait to see the benefits of juicing like more regularly. I will definitely keep you guys updated on my story. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, it is so underscore gnarly without the G. I'm so excited to make this a part of my reset routine, whether that's on Sundays or Mondays. I'm like really excited about this appliance. Kitchen gadgets are like one of my favorite things to splurge on. I don't know why, but I think they're so cool. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried this juicer out or if you have your eye on it, it'll definitely be in future vlogs so get ready for some juicing recipes and if you guys are not already subscribed go ahead and do so and i will see y'all in my next video bye